Uh, every year, Mike Batchelor, chairman of uh, JL Asia uh, Pacific uh, Hotels and Hospitality Group, uh, goes skiing with his wife Margie in Queenstown, New Zealand. Uh, we love it down there. And uh, we almost bought a holiday home, he says. But then we came to our senses and said, uh, instead of building a house we'll use once a year, let's find who builds the homes and ask them if they build a house for us in Australia. After some digging, they discovered the firm behind many of the houses they liked. Sonic Chaplin then agreed to build a new home for the couple and their children in their hometown of Brisbane, Australia. The commission wasn't made totally on a whim. The couple's daughter rides horses. After tiring of the commute from their former home to stables, we began to look for a property with some acreage and stumbled on one with five acres, says Margie, by desire. After purchasing a plot in Chandler, a, a suburb of Brisbane, about five years ago, they spent what they estimate was three years constructing a roughly 11,000 square foot home. Now, having decided they want even more land, they've put the house on the market. But Tyson Clark of Queensland Sotheby's International Realty for a $20 million. And I think we've got one more in us, says Mike. We've learned a lot by building this one. And I think the next will be our final spot. Mike says the double lot is highly unusual for the neighborhood. Uh, it was a very, very overgrown, but when we saw it, there's a beautiful creek down the back, he says, uh, very unloved, uh, very raw. So it was quite a mission to then set about and create what we've created. Uh, after demolishing the property's existing house, the couple faced what they call a blank canvas on which to design their ideal home. The connectivity to the natural landscape was very important, says Margie. We wanted privacy and seclusion that the acreage offers. The minute you enter the gates here and drive through, you feel like you're in a different world. The property is a 25 minute drive from the center of Brisbane and a 10 to 15 minute drive from the International Airport. Uh, we have the full convenience of a city, of a home, uh, but total seclusion, Mike says, uh, being in the hospitality business. He continues, I travel around the world uh, and I'm very lucky to see resorts uh, all around Asia Pacific. Um, when I come home, I feel like I'm on holiday. The property was laid out so that a dressage arena, horse paddocks, garages, stable, and the barn are mostly in the front of the property. Laid out in is predominantly a single story building. The house is largely oriented toward the rear of the property, which contains an infinity edge swimming pool. Uh, a pool house and spa, elaborate fire pit, uh, basketball court, net enclosed cricket pitch, uh, and vegetable garden, along with big lawns that extend to a creek uh, spanned by a pedestrian bridge. We're passionate about our gardens, but we didn't want to become a slave to our landscape, says Margie. So we went for a beautiful open lawn flanked by playing trees. And then uh, along the running creek, we have the natural landscape as well. With six bedrooms, six full baths, and two half baths, the house is laid out around areas for entertaining in the center, flanked by bedrooms on two wings. From the start, there's a very grand peat arrival hall that has stone floors, and recycled natural timbers. It's a very earthy feel, says Mike. And as you walk in, you look straight ahead to the great room, which has a warm fireplace in vaulted ceilings. And the house's core has a huge family room, kitchen, a large lounge and dining room, uh, all opening onto a terrace. Um, it, it, you know, it, it, the primary suite takes up one wing that's connected to the garage and gym, above which are two guest rooms and a kitchen yacht. On the other side of the forehouse are more bedrooms that led to a home cinema and a separate billiards bar room. The couple modeled on the writer's bar in the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. We fell in love with that bar, says Mike. And Margie said that once we get the billiards room done, we're going to import that in Singapore 
ourselves. Uh, given the area's subtropical climate, uh, the couple wanted to surround the house with terraces and decks. Uh, more than 3,700 square feet of them uh, surround the house, uh, significantly expanding the uh, home's footprint. And uh, the property, Mike says, um, is really uh, an entertainer's home. While the couple have hosted events for 60, they say its spaces are discreet enough that the home doesn't feel feel the cavernous when it contains only the nuclear family of four. It's a house that looks nice in photos, Mike says, but when four eyes get here, they're taken aback. The home is architecturally spectacular.